This sucker ain't going to go nowhere. Ready? One, two, three. Beep. For 60 bucks. This thing better be able to do that. Man, there's so much food in front of me right now. I could eat a donut and a steak. Oh no. Nice plain brown wall. Looks like chocolate. That's a knife. All right, you guys. It's that time again for Oxford Block. So welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and check it out. Yeah, you got your cigars ready? You got your Ferrari ready? It's another one of those exclusive limited edition set, but available at pickmeupscotty.com. Yeah, you probably don't want to buy it because it's quite expensive, but for those of you who love Oxford like I do and the exclusive themes, these are licensed. They cannot be sold outside of Korea. I'm not allowed to, but we can get a hold of some of them. Check it out right here. So this is Oxford Block's Outback Steakhouse limited edition but it sure does look nice dang it oxford you and your freaking exclusive right i wish they could just strip the name off and just sell the set as is for much cheaper yeah i know it's expensive but hey at least i can review it for you guys yeah they're celebrating a 10 year anniversary membership thing with outback so take a look at it i actually really like the front of this i love the colors i think it's really cool it's a bit minimal but hey it's cool there's no roofing there's no back either look oh no it's exposed just like the other Oxford Block sets. Go watch those, they're actually really, really cool. I love Oxford Block, man. But why you gotta do this to me? This thing costs more than a steak, but it'll last a lot longer. I do have the box, look, I saved the box, there's the box. Yeah, here I'll push this to the side so you guys can see it. Right there, look at that. Yeah, I love the box. And it says here, Boomerang Club, 10 years Outback members. I could use some onion rings and some steak right now. Here's the back, very nice. Of course, we'll see that all right now in the video. We'll start in the front and work our way to the back. I love the look of this front, man. It's so like almost homely, like it's really neat. And of course, you're buying the set, you're probably gonna be paying for the printing on there. That printing is probably worth 20 bucks, man. It's an Outback Steakhouse. You know what, honestly, I think you could replicate a lot of this. Yeah, I like the fence and the flowers. The look is good, it's tiled on the front, thank goodness. And I like the brown, the red, and that green color. It's not like overly crazy bright, but it has a nice look to it. You know, that's it for there in the front. So on this side, you got two windows, doesn't open, but it looks nice. The other side is just a plain wall. And we come to the inside here, that's it. Look at that. What makes this one actually really different from the other Oxford Block sets is it has booths in here. Booths, booth. Ooh, look, the sitting booth. It's a little bit low, but hey, that's actually pretty cool. You can sit your minifigures inside and they have a booth style. I really do like that. You got three booths in there. And when you go inside, we'll open the door here and go look inside. You got the cash register right there. It's all in Korean, but at least you got another sticker there that says out back on it. How much is it? $170,000. That's crazy. What kind of steak is that? Anyway, we come on the inside. It's not tiled, no, but it's really small. It's fine. You know, you got space to put your minifigures and they can stand there. There's no studs on the seats on the inside. They do kind of slide around once you start putting them in there. You got two nice detailed stickers on the wall. Look at the details on that. It says black label. Man, my stomach is already growling. Look at the tomahawk steak. Holy schmoly. I want one of those. Man, there are these two red studs that kind of stick out and it's just sitting there. I wish there was something there. They could have put like, some lights or camera. The more I look at it, it's irritating me. Other than the seating area, you only got the kitchen. It's a really small kitchen. I do like the stove. Got a stack of plates up there. Two little containers there. I'm not quite sure. These are your imagination. Maybe that's the oil, the alcohol you use to cook your steak with. I'm not quite sure what the black studs are trying to represent either. And on the burners on the top are stickers as well. You do have a vent there for the fan. Lots of little drawers. There's nothing inside. We'll close these up. I do actually really like the sink idea. It looks like there's water in there and it actually looks like a drain on the inside. There's a little hole there. That's pretty neat. And then you got all the utensils there for cooking the steak. And speaking of utensils and accessories, they have two frying pans here. The handles are super long though, man. This, it's like if you put it on the stove, so long it'll just tip over. So it's actually for your minifigures to hold. I love the details on the inside. Look, it's cooking food. Those are stickers though. And then you have two plates here. You got salad, we'll put that there. And you have pasta, we'll put that there. Pasta, salad, and look at this nice steak. That's it, it's so tiny. You're basically just buying it for our back steakhouse. Is it worth it? You guys let me know in the comment. I know you're all gonna be like, no, that's way too expensive. It's not Lego. Do you have an Outback Steakhouse? I do. And of course, they come with minifigures. Let's check them out. Go to my comments randomly. Let's see what we got. We'll start with the cook. 
Look at his face. He's like, yeah. I like his apron. It has a little line there. I don't know why that line is in there. It's like a design thing. I'm not sure. Nice hat. He's going to cook you some medium rare steaks. Yeah, that sounds good to me. That is Lock Champ Toys and Comedy. We said the game shop from Oxford is a little bit expensive. It is, man. The Oxford block. Just to see how much this set costs. Better make that nice steak, man. Then you got this guy. He looks happy to order some steak. Printing on him is just simple. Green. Nothing much. Nice color. Looks like he's wearing a sweater. Nice hairstyle. And that is Warren Solis Montero. I don't think any Oxford block uses batteries, by the way. I do actually have one set that does. Super expensive too. And it's limited. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? Good luck finding it. You got this guy in blue, the beard, gray hair. I like the beard. He looks like he's one of the guys from The Last Supper. He just put on a light blue sweater and he wants to have some steak, some bread, some onion rings. This is John modeling. Yes, F35 review is coming really soon this weekend. I'll film it. I don't know how long it'll take me to edit, but you'll get it in due time. Enjoy your steak. See how the waitress here? She looks so happy. Look at her happy smile wearing an Outback employee shirt. Nice and black, cool printing. Probably very exclusive. That probably cost another 20 bucks. So 20 bucks for the sign in the shop, 20 bucks for her shirt. That's like half the set right there. That is Hazel. There you are. Again, smiling, enjoying to serve your customers. Yeah. Got this girl in pink, pretty sweater, nice lipsticks, eyes that can attract any guy. And that is Alicia KX. Well, I sure hope you're female. If not, you're still very pretty looking. And finally, we got this last lady female customer with a polka dot shirt, the hair done in a bun, and she looks just fine. She's gonna enjoy her unlimited ice lemon tea. And that is Isabel. Isabel, there you are. More videos to come, I hope. Yo, dimension time. Just grab your 32 by 32 base plate. Let's check this out. If I put this right here, that is 16 studs by width. And the length, put this here, that is 24 studs in length. This will fit perfectly fine on a base plate. So break out your one by four bricks and you know, from this rooftop here in the front, we'll just kind of put the, this right there and just to show you guys, that is 10 bricks in height. Now, if you wanted to get the rooftop here, I think it's just like nine bricks. Look at that, it's just shy. Just so you know, if you wanna see the underside here, it's on three base plates there. Yeah, it's not one, but three. So all you have to do is drop this. We can do this real high. This sucker ain't gonna go nowhere, right? One, two, three. Anything fall off? Would you like to know the history of Outback Steakhouse? I could just read a little sentence, because I have, totally don't know. I just like the food from there. And give you guys some beauty shots, I guess, here, check it out. Outback Steakhouse is an Australian-themed American casual dining restaurant chain serving American cuisine based in Tampa, Florida. For real? I thought this was Australian. The chain has over 1,000 locations in 23 countries throughout North and South America, Asia, and Australia. It was founded in March 1988 with its first location in Tampa by Bob Basham, Chris T. Sullivan, Trudy Cooper, and Tim Gannon. It was owned and operated in the United States by OSI Restaurant Partners until it was acquired by Bloomin Brands and by other franchise and venture agreements internationally. Now nah, I feel really cheated. I thought this was Australian. I'm, I don't know, man. So there you guys go. That's the Outback Steakhouse limited edition available on the store. We only have a few of them. They're very expensive, but you know, if you get a paycheck and you deserve something for yourself, go ahead and buy one. If not, just watch this review and enjoy it. You know, you're seeing all the details here. You don't need it, because this one is for me to keep anyway. Ha ha. All right, you guys. Until next time, break me out. So the colors on the inside is very brown, yeah? The tables and the wall look like the color of your poop on a good day. The chairs and the booth look like your poop color on a bad day. I don't know why I had to use poop as a reference. If it's green like this, I don't want to know, man. So the office isn't quite ready yet. I'm still organizing everything. But you know, some of you have bought this from me. A lot of you have actually. Here's the Dunkin' Donuts with the Outback. Does that go together? Does that look nice? How's that for comparison? A lot of you guys have been actually buying this one too. This is a corner coffee shop 
from H. Sun He. And I gotta build the other one to review this for you guys. But there you go. You know, we can kind of shuffle these around like that. Or does that look like that? Yeah, that fit with City. How about we throw some Lego in here, right? We'll pull out Emmett's house again, because Emmett's one is kind of a nice size for comparison there. Goes really well with this house, actually. Next door to Outback Steakhouse. Or, you know, maybe you can modify this yourself, use your own bricks. You know, you're not gonna get that sign. Then you have a house that goes with this house. You have two houses, yeah? Fred Flintstone's house. We'll put this, move the coffee shop out of the way. You know, because Fred could sure use some steak, yeah? Look, Barney, there's some steak there. We gotta go eat that steak. Yeah, I'll back steak house. Sounds good to me. So there's the comparison for you guys. It is a small little thing. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, huh? How about this for a giveaway? I'll actually give one of these away if you become my 10,000 subscriber. That's right. Got a long ways to go, but I'll give one away for you. No, seriously, yeah? You gotta become my 10,000 subscriber. We're at what, like two, almost 3,000? Got some time to go, man. You get one, you gotta wait four more years. Good luck.